G'day guys, Fletch here from Adventure Off Road. Today, because I was pretty bored, thought I might as well just show you the car at the moment the way it is. It's not much done to it because I don't really have the income to do much. But I've got a few little things coming for it. Parts that I will record. I have done stuff to it, but I don't record it. I regret not recording it because I get more content out there if I record it. So, next stuff I get, I'm going to record. Anyway, let's get to it. Start with the front end of the car. Now, there's not much done to it, but there's a few little things like a Oricom aerial, which is obviously used for the UHF in the car. Got a super cheap auto bonnet protector on here, and you can see there's some rock chips up here. Can't really see them too well. There you go. That's just from the previous owner of the car. Sorry, I haven't washed it, I haven't really had the time to. I uh, got some King Spot lights down here. Yeah, not too much. Full bar came with the car, but that's the way she sits today. Anyway, moving on. Do wheels. We've got some Desert Hawk tires, the uh, Achilles. It looks like these came with the car. They're a 32 inch tire. Can't remember what that is in metric unit, but they're a 32 inch tire on a 15 inch rim. And they go pretty well, haven't had any scrubbing of the car, surprisingly, for a standard lift car. I'm pretty happy with them too, can't say anything bad about them. have got some 31s in the workshop, well, we actually suspect that they're 30s, but we don't know. Haven't gone into it. Um, tray setup, I have got a toolbox on here, which we got for free because it was just laying around at work. Got some fishing gear in there at the moment and a little bit of camping. It's just got um, really stuff I use because I don't really go out much because I can't really because I haven't got my peas. So it's got recovery boards in there, not max jacks because I haven't got the money for that. Then behind it we've got a jerry can holder for when we're out camping. I would carry some water or petrol if I needed it when I'm out four driving. Pretty handy. I haven't really had a chance to use it, especially being quarantined, it doesn't help. And then at the rear, all we've done is we've got some reversing lights there, each side. They're from Kings as well, and bloody hell they are bright. Very happy with them. And that's pretty much it. Oh, right. Also got a reversing camera that we installed which connects to the um, radio inside the car and I've got a um, recovery hitch that I can just take out for this put the recovery hitch in and someone can snatch me out but then I went to tip and thought that that was pretty pointless and you buying that because you can just use this pin here so a bit of waste of money but I don't know it'll come in handy Alright, so for the interior, there's not too much done, there's a little bit. We've got a radio down here, which I installed. It's a lot better than the original one, because the original one was only aux cord. This one's got Bluetooth, and it's got hands-free calling with a microphone I put up here, so that you can hear both of us in the car. Um, got a UHF in here. It's good at UHF. I love Oricom, so got it. And then you got the little console down here for it. Got the small one. Um, then over here we've got, I can't really see too well in the daylight, but I've still got to put a sticker on. The display is speed right there, you can't really see it too well. I'll see if I can do this. There you go. Kind of see a bit better with the zero popping up on the screen. So, I'll let you see what speed I'm going because my tyres are bigger than standard, which means the uh, speedometer's out. And that's not really helpful. I don't really want to be guessing what speed I'm going. I don't know, I can just sit under the speed like that. Also, it's just easy to look at that because you can keep your eyes up on the road. Because um, it's a bench seat, I haven't got a console, so I'm just using this little Esky for it. It's the one I picked up from Target. And then behind the CD, we've got something I picked up from Super Cheap. Just a little holder. <coughs> holder thing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Little holder thing here. I've just got like a knife, fork, and spoon set right here. Got my uh, tie gauge thing. Drop the tie pressures down. Picked that up from Anaconda. Just got a multi tool there. Got some storage stuff back here. 
that's not a snatch yet so I can't use that if I'm getting recovered and because we've got a spare tire underneath the cab which is in a really bad spot in my opinion I think my dad just welded up this little thing here which attaches on because this car didn't come with a tool to get the tire off so we just welded that up got a piece of scrap metal and a couple of screws we'll cut it down to length and yeah it goes all right anyway that's it for the car, at least so far. Got some future mods I like to do to it, like a bull bar, winch, lift kit, locker, a few other things. And I've got some money at the moment, so I'm still planning on what to buy. I think about getting the bull bar now, and then I can kind of get everything set up for it. But then I need to work some more money at the winch, but I don't want to get the winch until I get the uh, recovery um, stuff for it, like tree trunk protector and all that because I in my opinion it's kind of pointless having a winch and not having a recovery gear so then I might go for a lift and that one there I don't really have to worry about having too much recovery gear or I can go for a front locker and a, not a stainless snorkel but I'd like to go stainless get a snorkel from TJM or I can Save it for something else. I don't know. I'll leave a poll down below. You guys can let me know what you like me to get. Because I'll actually record this one next time. Next time I do something, I'll record it. And I do wish I did record the other stuff I did. But anyway, it is what it is. I wasn't really too keen recording, but now I'm recording now. I'm kind of liking it. So, um, if you don't follow me already on Instagram, I'll leave a link down there so you can keep updated on what's going on. Also leave a link for my TikTok down there. <laughs> You'll see some of the videos I've made. Not very good. I, I mean, I've only just started out, so it's kind of what you expect, you know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.